Appreciate Maha Minute for having me out here. Let's go Bucks. Let's go. Now, uh, when it comes to Arizona, what's uh, the main difference so far you, you've noticed? Oh, you know, def- <laughs> definitely the weather. Yeah. Luckily. I mean, it was like 124 last summer in Arizona, and then here it's been like 30 consistently. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You think the high altitude kind of helps with the kicks? Oh, 100. percent I think it adds about like 10, 15 percent distance wise. Really? Yeah, yeah. Jeez, that's a huge difference. Yeah. You wouldn't expect that. Okay. Now, when it comes to your beginnings in football, it sounds like you started in high school. Right? Yeah, I started. Uh, I didn't really play football until my freshman year in high school. I feel like that's kind of surprising because, you know, given your dad yeah. in the NFL, yeah. people would probably expect, oh, he's probably been playing since. I know. Uh, he was he was really good with uh, not really forcing me to do anything. So he okay. kind of let me find my own path. And okay. then I found kicking freshman year. And then I kind of took it from there and I like, kind of fell in love with it just like he did. So, okay. Yeah. Well, were you like entertaining any other career paths before? Golf. Football? Golf was my main sport. Football. I played soccer too, but golf was my main sport before I started playing football. Okay. Yeah. But but football kind of stuck for you. Yeah, I I still play golf. I'm still gonna try. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Like competitively or just for fun? You know, if football doesn't work out, I'm definitely gonna try competitively for golf. Okay. Yeah. That's dope. Okay. Now you, uh, how did you end up going to Arizona State? I know you. you from yeah. Arizona. So I was originally committed to Oregon, and oh. on signing day they pulled my scholarship. Really. And to switch over from a corner, so I was kind of left high and dry because I wasn't gonna go there on a PWL. Yeah, and uh, Arizona State was Slocum. I had known him for a while, and uh, he kind of gave me a spot to, you know, promise a scholarship. And then uh, I never really got that there. So yeah, and all the stuff that happened there, and then I ended up leaving. Okay, yeah. How come? I, I know you might have just said it, but how come you ended up? Uh, they ended up pulling your scholarship from uh, Oregon. Man, like at Arizona State, there was a lot of there was a lot of stuff going on, and they brought in a kid. And I had beat him out, you know, preseason, but he had the scholarship. So yeah. they ended up starting him. And I even beat him out during the season. And, you know, it just never, uh, never really happened. So I didn't feel like I was a priority there. And I wanted right. to find someone else. Right, right. Yeah. I mean, Arizona State is still the same conference as, yeah. as Oregon. Yep. You know, Pac-12. Yep. So was it cool, like, staying home, I suppose, in a way? It was good. Yeah. yeah. I like being close to my family. It's definitely hard being away from my family. They're going to be able to come up here and say hi and they, everyone wants to come to Colorado so right. it's also a good place to yeah. come to and you guys play them this season too. exactly uh, I'm excited for that yeah, yeah I'm excited for that uh what ended up leading into transferring to CU you no know, it was kind of just God's plan it was just you know a miracle I was packing for a trip to Memphis when I got a call from uh coach Riley and they offered me a scholarship to come here and I was yeah. like hell yeah let's go that's dope yeah, yeah.